Okay, good morning guys. In case you can't tell by the tone, already this is not part of some setup. There's no punchline. We'll get back to all that tomorrow. I want to deal with some quick business and just make a couple of quick points based on some of the responses you gave me for my questions on Monday. Here's the fundamental issue as I see it. I've seen a steady decline in views of the videos and a steady decline in accessing of the e-text and supplemental videos. A lot of you have told me that you're headed straight to my math lab. Now, I understand if what you're interested in is getting the points, but I want you to understand that there's more to this whole process, not just the math process, but you being gone from the school environment. That's going to start to add up in terms of fatigue. So that's has a lot to do with why there's all that silliness in the videos in the first place, right? Just to kind of explain what's going on, you've got to keep a sense of connection to the school that's social, it's emotional, over and above, doing what you need to do to learn the stuff. So I want to stress again, make sure you are going through the steps in the order that I give them to you. To help with that, if you haven't stopped the video by now, or if you, haven't, uh, if you actually haven't watched it at all, you're not going to see this. There is uh, somewhere in this video going to be a word that's going to show up on screen. I'm going to let you know when it's time. There is going to be a daily grade today, a second one, that simply involves you going into a Schoology quiz and typing that word correctly. Please do not share that word with one another. This is a simple test to see who is going through the process of steps in the way that I've asked you to do them. Once again, the big takeaway before we get to the lesson for today is please continue to follow the steps. We're only a week in. Fatigue is going to set in as you try to cut corners on the process. Please do not do so. Okay, good morning guys. Hope everybody's doing well. So hopefully, uh, I haven't gotten the chance to look at all the quiz scores yet. So far, what I've been able to look at looks good. I actually film a day in advance, which means uh, I'm gonna take a look at these in the morning, but we're pretending that today is Wednesday, or I am, hopefully you aren't, because you're watching this on Wednesday. Don't forget that at some point during this video, I'm going to give you that word that you need to enter into that other assignment so that you're able to uh, get the points. Please make sure that you are following the steps. They are very much put in that order by design. I absolutely promise you. Not only for your intellectual development, but cultural, psychosocial, and there's all kinds of factors here, especially in a situation as strange as this. So hopefully after two days of thinking about this, you've been able to kind of wrap your head around what's going on. And I want to make this clear. Pretend this one doesn't exist for now. If you feel good about everything you see in a transformation like this, you're ready for any quiz or test. And I want you to pay attention to a couple of areas. There are only four places where a transformation is going to occur. And recognizing the difference between all of them is going to be what makes this easier to work with. By the way, in case you couldn't tell, I'm now no longer at school, so it's going to be a couple of days while I get all the angles adjusted and everything, so I thank you for your patience. So the first one is whether or not you've got a negative sign right here before your base. Now remember, we've seen some examples of problems like that so far. That's going to mean that we're going to do a vertical flip. It basically means that when we're done transforming our X and Y values, if our current Y values are negative, they're going to become positive and vice versa. The second place where that is going to be something we need to pay attention to is right there. If we have a negative sign in front of the X, that's going to be a horizontal flip. So that means we're going to flip the sign of our X values. And again, it's just a matter of looking for those to see if they're there. If they're there, then you flip the Y or the X, and if they're not there, you don't worry about it. The third place that we're going to concern ourselves with is whether some constant has been added to our x exponent, in this case, plus 3. Now remember, that's our horizontal shift. And remember, that's reversed. So if we have a positive 3 here, even though our instinct might be to go to the right, that means we're going to move our x value 3 units to the left. And then lastly, we have this one. That's our vertical shift that's going to affect our y values. And remember, that's corresponding. So in this case, this would signify a vertical shift of six units up. So if you want to think about it this way, you can think about this negative sign and this plus six as affecting only the y values. 
This would mean go up six and then reverse it. And you can think about this negative sign and this plus three as affecting only the x values. So that's going to be that horizontal, I mean, that uh, vertical flip. I want to make sure I'm using the right terminology here. I want to make sure everybody's understanding it. Let me, let me be more accurate. This one, this negative sign involves reversing our y values because we're mirroring about the x axis. So everything that was up here, excuse me, that angle comes down here. Okay? This means also move those values up six units. Here, this signifies a flip along the y axis. So if we want to think about flipping left to right, and then this signifies our shift left to right. Now, I'm not going to ever give you one that requires you to do all four at the same time. That gets a little overcomplicated. So to be frank, this is an example of one that you're going to see on today's homework. If you feel good about your ability to do this one, you've pretty much got all the parts that you need. So if we take a look at this, oh, and, and let's remind ourselves of what the base version of this is going to look like, and that's just f of x equals 2 to the x. Remember, we always want to think about what our base function is going to look like. And let's say that they gave us a point here of 0, 1, which makes sense because 2 to the 0 equals 1. So remember, we're going to be doing our transformations on this point and on the other two points before we select. All right, so let's make sense of what we got. First off, we don't have a negative sign in front of the 2. So that lets us know we don't have to worry about that flip. We know we've got a vertical shift here. We'll deal with that in a minute. But what I really want to look at is right here. You've got this negative 3 minus x. Now, if you want your life to be easier, let's always reverse that so the x is first, because that's going to let us know in a little more clear format what we're looking at. So I'm actually going to start by rewriting this as 2 to the negative x minus 3, okay, then all that minus 3. Now, I recommend that you do your horizontal shifts and your vertical shifts first. Oh, except, yeah, I'm now going to scratch this out so I don't accidentally look at it and put the wrong values in, because you know how I can be with that, okay? Oh, by the way, the word you want to enter into the quiz is hygiene. It's going to ask you for one word. You'll see it right down there, all spelled out in lowercase. Now, you only get one shot at this. So check your typing and your spelling and make sure you enter it correctly. Once again, that word, hygiene. Back to this. So the first thing that I see here is that I've got both a horizontal and a vertical shift that I've got to deal with. So I've got this negative 3 here that lets me know that that's a horizontal shift. I've got a negative 3 here that lets me know that that's a vertical shift. Now, I generally like starting with this one because it's just the simplest, and I just do it unit for unit. So this means that I am going to shift this down three units. All right? Well, right now, I am at 1. That's one of the standard points that they gave me. All right? So let's just move that down three units. One, move down, three units, negative two. Easy enough. All right? Now let's look at this horizontal shift. Remember, it's reversed. So since this is a negative three, that means we're shifting our uh, function three units to the right. All right? Well, our current x value is zero. We shift that three units to the right, so that gives us three. Now, if that was all there was, then we would be done. And okay? then we'd be done. However, this negative in front of the x is another of our four possible transformations. It's the one that lets us know that we're going to be flipping along the y-axis. In other words, all of our x values are going to flip from one side to the other. So... That's really, really simple. If our current x value is 3, which we computed after our horizontal shift and everything, and this means we're flipping it, then we just make that negative. So, in its current form, this answer is the corresponding point for 0, 1. I hope, for those of you that have had difficulty with it, that now that you've had a couple of days to wrestle with it, that clarifies it once and for all. Because I'm going to give you another set of examples today they're going to be, they're going to get a little more complicated. 
but they're generally not going to get any more complicated than this. Now, let's say just theoretically that they did get more complicated, and I gave you the fourth possible transformation, which is mirroring about the x-axis. In other words, there would be a negative sign here. Remember, that negative sign before the 2 just means that you would flip this y value. So if there were a negative sign there, I would say, okay, flip that, and your answer would be negative 3, positive 2. This is not in that form. I just kind of wanted to discuss theoretically what that would look like. So quickly, deal with your shifts first, both horizontal and vertical. Change those values, and then deal with any flips that you need to do. Is that one? Is that both? Is it none? I hope now after a couple of days, three days of going over this, that this clarifies it enough for tonight's homework for you to feel fairly confident about what you're doing. Because uh, my hope is to have you quiz over this on Friday. If you still have questions, don't forget about tomorrow's live conference. It will take place from 10 to 10.30. Also, by the way, uh, I'm thinking about going to an hour on this class for conferences. Uh, that's not going to happen this week because I want to stick with the schedule. Good luck with everything that you have today. And as always, don't forget to enter that word in the other video, uh, the video word that was on the screen. Don't forget to go back and enter that so that you can get that daily grade as well. Uh, once again, thanks so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.